Have you got the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? Oh god, Kira, you did just scare the hell out of me. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Oh, you don't say. I wouldn't have looked for a passage. God hell. Well, I did use it, that's for sure. And I did use this one. Whatever reason. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Probably dragged it from one wall to the other. Yeah. Repeatedly. Probably the secret door. Though still have to find out how they did it. Uh Let's try this one again. Oh yes. Found it out. See Kira, no troubles here. Don't worry. Don't need you to find out the secrets. This house. Mm, looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped too. We have a letter here. Uh, seems to be... Is this a quest letter? No. Seems to be some context letter. The Mage Alexander's Lock Part 2. Day 346. I never did uh, like rats. Not because of their obscene tales, but rather on account of their li lively disturbing intelligence. They are always listening when a man believes he is talking only to himself. And what's worse, they seem to understand. A few days ago I caught myself ta um, talking to one of them, to a particular large black male with torn of ear. At first I was overcome by panic. Was this the first manifestation of the illness? Of course that was impossible, for I had fortified my immunity with powerful spells. Upon further consideration I concluded it was an al altogether natural reflex. One even the most learned among us find hard to restrain, we may just like to be listened to. I placed a black rat in a separate cage. The time will come for it to play a part in the tests. Meanwhile, it can keep me company. Meanwhile, it can keep me company. And observe. I've noticed it looks with great concentration at the cages of its infected breath, and particularly those in the last stages of illness. Fascinating. Speaking of company, I have none besides the black rat and cannot hope for better. Zara avoids the laboratory and has expressed his desire for his daughter to steer clear of me as well. At first I thought he feared a mor uh, moral scandal, which would be risible in the extreme, but he explained the true reason in due course. He's, uh, it seems Annabelle has always possessed a fragile psychic constitution, observing the ill might throw her into foul humors. The peasants taking part in the study have stopped speaking to me. I don't know what they believe this little act of defiance will serve. It does me no harm. They made for lousy conversation partners. There remains, of course, the woman, but as for her, I try to limit my contact. Day 362. My black rat has died. Today I found him curled up in his cage. Suspected he had become infected on accident, but during the autopsy I did not uncover any signs of illness. He was only perfectly well fed. Uh, he was also perfectly well fed. Strange. From a medical point of view, his death remains unexplained, something which I must admit irritates the scholar in me. But as mentioned previously, I'm not particularly fond of rats. Yeah, but he seemed to be a little bit fond of this one. If I'm correct. Uh, I'm going to go on and see if we have... Seems we discovered something. Why did you leave? You claimed to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Mm, no, there's no need to fear me. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. 
My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Who was the mage who um, owned this tower here? Mage who lived here. Who was he? Alexander. Oh. I hardly knew him. We heard that name before. I'm locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses. Yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. What happened here that you are bound to this place? Something very cruel must have happened. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich, believed we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. I can imagine what the potion was. Um, probably a poison. And I can't blame the mage actually, because if the peasants had found her, there would have probably been a more horrible fate than dying. What happened then? Fear. Terrible fear. I feared the men who approached, but I also feared the potion drinking it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. <laughs> and then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Did they harm you? Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... Nothing. Yes. Poisoned. That how you died? No. Before I later awoke, I was alone. It was dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. Oh god. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? Um, yeah, I have some question questions. Can you talk to other souls? Can you talk to the island's other spectres? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. I found a fresh corpse in the tower. Um, do you maybe know what happened? You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him. Recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. 
I don't know. I've noticed not. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You ought to be my savior, not my tormentor. Sorry, um, I didn't want to pressure you. So how can I help you? How can I lift this curse? There must be something that binds you to this world. Uh, maybe, maybe an object or a feeling, regrets, anything. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it, but who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Grail? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Yeah, tell me about Graham. What kind of guy is he? Your beloved. Who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected. Strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. Yeah, that's usual. Wraiths um, sometimes forget important things about them. Especially... It's pretty confusing being a ghost, I assume. So the curse is focused on you. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? I will. You don't need... You wouldn't even need to ask. I need to lift the curse anyway. Fine. I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? He lives in the village on the lakeshore. Yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember. And want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. I think she is um, actually speaking the truth. She doesn't seem like a vengeful spirit to me. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. That is also true. But unfortunately, the Conclave was destroyed, Geralt. You remember, right? Do you? We get the Mage's first letter, which we are also going to read. Day 237. My experiments continue to return results I must consider unreliable. Methodological um, errors are not at fault. The problem lies in the soddy and fallible research material I'm forced to work with. Despite his prior assurance, Viserat is unable to write me with enough moderately healthy specimens for my test. Most of the material is stuffed and terrify um, terrified, having been dragged here straight from, the dungeon, I straight from the dungeon. I waste a great deal of time daily washing and delousing them before I will so much as let, uh, let them step foot into my laboratory. Sterility first. As Marty sought... Um, Sodergren managed to prove in her little known work the attitude of a patient undergoing treatment can have a significant impact on the battle against the disease. Unfortunately, the volunteers with, uh, which I am supplied to do not show sufficient comprehension, let alone enthusiasm, for the noble work in which they are taking part. In fact, it seems they consider the research part of the punishment. If 
tried a few times, though I'm but a poor speaker, to convince them that they are contributing to the eradication of one of the greatest plagues tormenting mankind. I had a distinct impression they understood little, but perhaps their stupor was merely a result of the e early stages of the illness. Of course, it is impossible to achieve success without significant sacrifices. The overwhelming majority of them will have to lay down their trifling lives on the altar of learning, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Yeah, the question is, are they willing to make the sacrifice? Because that's what I have been thinking all along. Of course they don't want to die or they don't want to suffer even more, even if it means that an important plague is eradicated. What is it to them if they are dead? At least that's, I think, their basic line of thought. If I understand it correctly from the letters we have been reading. They can't all be okay with um, just dying for a good cause. I don't think uh, a lot of people would like to do that, even if they are otherwise rotting in the dungeon. Or being killed right away. I would be a little bit more merciful actually, so... There seems to be some kind of secret room here. I still don't know how to get in there or... Oh! We got a cellar here. And we got another spirit. Let's see what happened here. First of all, let's... Rich folk. That will ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe? Like to die of hunger if we leave him there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing him's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for him. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, that stench! Yeah, they might have been keeping the infected rats here. Not really nice. I would be worried, but we're a witcher, so we're immune against uh, most diseases, so... At least that's one of the benefits of being a witcher. You don't have to worry about any disease. Unless, of course, it is magical. That can be an exception. Now, we have to take Annabelle to Graham. Let's look first, though, if there is something left on this aisle. Don't think so. We got one undiscovered location here, and our boat is supposed to be here. So we're going here, then we're getting back to the boat. And where's Cray? Oh no, he is on the other side. So we can we can actually go to Arden right away, Arden. But first of all, we have to look. There's something we missed. Just in case, just in case. I mean, could be that we missed nothing, but just want to check that out. Got a rod fiend here, but not many more. And we got another spirit. Might be interesting for lore reasons. Oh, he's walking towards us. Oh, I didn't even look at our health bar. Didn't know we were so... Uh, 
low on health. Wow, okay.